Hello and welcome to chapter 3 example set CSE 259 verification of model checking uh, in this uh, we look at uh, past three some sub formulas uh, so let's get started and before we get into uh, drawing the past tree a quick recollection of the operations so we have the basic uh, uh, formulas from uh, uh, propositional logic that is conjunction, disjunction, implication, and negation. Also, remember we have uh, the top and bottom. This is called top and this is bottom. Uh, or true and false. This also is true. Um, this is false. Uh, the new additional uh, symbols that we use in model verification are G, which stands for all future states, F, which stands for some future state, R, release, U is until, and W is weak until. Uh, so these are uh, some of the operations. Uh, look at uh, uh, the uh, video from section 3.2 to get a better idea of uh, what these are. Uh, also, uh, just a quick recollection of uh, the binding. So from least, uh, binding, uh, you have implication, which is a bijective operation. So the bijective operations have the least binding. So that will be same as this here. So then you have U, W, R over here. Then we have the uh, urinary operations, which are uh, X, F, G, and then we have not and brackets. Uh, so these are the uh, least to most binding uh, operations in our uh, set. Uh, so now keeping this in mind, let's try to draw the parse tree. So here is a formula and uh, we have the brackets over here. So considering these, we have the parse tree as R and then we have F and the other side we have the union of op U operation until and this we have the implication. This side we have P, G, R and this side we have the not Q and P. So this is very similar to what we had in propositional logic or the predicate logic. Uh, so these are uh, from the uh, the parse tree for the given formula. Now uh, to look at what are the sub formulas. So the first thing is let's write out the leaves. So that is P, R, Q. Now from this we get the next set of sub formulas which is G, R. Also we have not Q. Now going to the next set we have P implies GR and not P, U, uh, not, sorry, not Q, U, P until P. And finally we have F, P implies GR. So these are the sub formulas for this example. So give now let's look at another second example of this. Uh, quickly, it's just slight difference, the rest of it being the same. Now, I suppose you understand why I'm putting the implication on the, on the top, given the priority. This is where the priority works. So the implication is the least binding. So implication comes the highest. And the other side, we have R, F, and R. And the right side of the R, we have G, not Q. And the right side of the implication, we have weak until 
q not r so this forms the uh, parse tree for the above formula uh, this is very clearly this shows where uh, the priority of the symbols uh, from the least to the most binding is important for us to be able to write out the formula uh, now the sub formulas in this case would be uh, so first taking the literals p r q uh, then we have not p not q and are not r so we have completed this chain we have completed this chain and we have completed this chain now the next part of it we have f r in future there is an r globally there is no q so that completes this entire part and this part now we have go to the r so the next is f r or g not q and the other one is with respect to the weak until that is q w not r now the final part is where this implication is involved that becomes f r that is future r or globally no q in the future uh, implies q weak until not r so these are the sub formulas uh, in our entire parse tree or in the given formula uh, so this is how you write the parse tree and sub formulas uh, so that's it for this uh, to do more of these exercises go use the textbook section 3.2 or the back exercises uh, it's it's very similar to what we learned in propositional and predicate logic and they should be quite simple uh, for you uh, once you have uh, looked at the videos and the uh, examples available in the book. Uh, thank you and see you soon again.